These next set of questions all deal with changing the units of certain rates. So let's have a look at our first example. It wants us to convert 3,000 meters per second into meters per minute. So we first start off with writing what we want to convert. We want to convert 3,000 meters per second. And then we want to turn it into meters per minute. So as we can see, the meters are going to stay the same, and we just need to convert seconds to minutes. So to do this, we're going to multiply it by a ratio of seconds to minutes. We know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, so we're going to multiply it by 60 seconds per one minute. And then we can see that these seconds cancel out, and we're just left with meters per minute. So we get 3,000 times 60, which gives us 180,000. And then our new units are going to be meters per minute. The next question wants us to convert 80 kilometers per hour to meters per minute. So again, we're going to first write off our number of what we want to convert. So 80 kilometers per hour. And then we want to turn it into meters per minute. So we need to change the kilometers and the hour. So first, let's deal with the kilometers. We know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So we're going to write 1 kilometer on the bottom and then 1,000 meters up top. So we have 1,000 meters per kilometer, and these kilometer units can cancel out. Now we're left with meters per hour, but we need meters per minute. So we need to get rid of this hour by multiplying the ratio between minutes to hours. We know that there are 60 minutes per hour, so we're going to write 1 hour on the numerator, and then 60 minutes on the denominator, so this hour and this hour can cancel out. Now we're left with 80 times 1,000 divided by 60 which gives us 1,333.33. And our units are going to be meters per minute. Now the third question wants us to convert $14,000 per year into dollars per day. So we're going to start off with writing what we want to convert. So now we have dollars on top, top and years on the bottom, and we want to convert it to dollars per day. So we just have to change our years to days. So we know that there are 365 days per year, so we're going to have one year on top, and then the number of days in a year in a bottom, which is 365 days. So we can see that these years cancel out, and we're just left with dollars per days. And 14,000 divided by 365 gives us 38.36 dollars per day. Now the next question wants us to convert 4,000 centimeters per minute into kilometers per hour. So we start off with writing our number that we want to convert, which is 4,000 centimeters per minute. And then we want to convert it to kilometers per hour. So we have to change the centimeters and minutes. Let's start by converting the centimeters to kilometers. We know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we'll first start off with 100 centimeters per 1 meter, and then these centimeters cancel out, but now we have to get rid of our meters. But we do know that there are 1,000 meters per kilometer, so we're going to use this ratio to cancel off the meters. And now all we have to do is convert the minutes to hours. We know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, so we write 60 minutes on the top over 1 hour to cancel out the terms of minutes and we're left with our units of kilometers per hour. Now all we have to do is do 4,000 divide by 100 divide by 1,000 times 60 to get our final answer of 2.4 kilometers per hour. Now our final question wants us to convert 5 kilometers per hour to meters per minute. So again, we start off with the number we want to convert, which is 5 kilometers per hour and then we want to change it to meters per minute. So we need to change the top and the bottom ratio. So first let's change the kilometers. We know that there are 1,000 meters per kilometer. So because we want to cancel the kilometer, we'll write the kilometer on the bottom and 1,000 meters up top to make these units of kilometers cancel out. And now we're left with meters per hour. So to get rid of the hour, we're going to use a ratio between minutes to hour. And we know that there's 60 minutes per hour. So we're going to write one hour on top with 60 minutes on the bottom. Now these units of the hours cancel out and we're just left with meters per minute. 
Now we have 5 times 1,000 divided by 60 gives us 83.3 meters per minute as our final answer.